Twitter is again in the news. This time, it is about revelations made by a former Twitter security chief who has turned whistleblower over the US regulators. The allegations paint a picture of unauthorized storing of Twitter's users' data on the part of the Indian government. Today in this video, we take a look at what exactly are these shocking disclosures and how are they likely to impact the relationship between India and Twitter. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. The whistleblower is former Twitter security chief Peter Zatko, who is also a widely known hacker and is famous in his circles by the pseudonym Mudge. The explosive submissions made by him allege that the Indian government forced Twitter to hire individuals who were government agents and who got unrestricted access to vast amount of user data on Twitter. The allegations have come at a time when Twitter is involved in a legal battle with India's Ministry of Electronics and IT over its content blocking orders. This complaint Actually, an 84-page filing was sent to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and has been made public by the Washington Post on Tuesday afternoon. The complaints allude to the fact that Twitter has been unable to protect the data of its users and has been consistently failing in its endeavour to run its enterprise on the lines of democratic governance. The crux of the allegation is that, by knowingly permitting Indian government agents direct and unsupervised access to the company systems and user data, Twitter executives have deliberately violated the company's commitments to its users. He has also alleged that the Indian government, along with the Russian and Nigerian governments, sought with varying success to force Twitter to hire local full-time employees that could be used as leverage. This was true for the countries where it was essential for Twitter to have a physical presence and to hire full-time local employees. According to him, the threat of harm to Twitter employees was sufficient enough to cause the social media platform to seriously consider complying with foreign government requests that Twitter would otherwise fundamentally oppose. In February last year, Métis had notified the Information Technology Rules 2021. These rules mandated social media companies to hire key personnel such as nodal officers who would solely liaison with law enforcement agencies to assist them in investigations. The companies were also required to hire a compliance officer who would ensure compliance with the rules and a grievance officer who would resolve user complaints. However, at this point and stage, it is not very clear whether there is any link between Zatko's claim about the company stuffing a government agent and these employees that Twitter was mandated to hire under the IT rules 2021. These revelations come at a time as Twitter is engaged in two high-profile legal battles, one with India's central government over some of its content blocking orders and another with Tesla CEO Elon Musk over his attempt to pull out of his earlier $44 billion bid to buy the social media company. Last month, Twitter had moved the Karnataka High Court asking for the overturning of the government's order to block 39 links. Twitter has argued that the blocking orders were beyond the purview of the law. Twitter, on its part, has rubbished these claims and has said that these were unsubstantiated claims made by a former disgruntled employee. Twitter has said that Peter Zatko has been sacked in January 2022 over ineffective leadership and poor performance. And this is just his way of harming the reputation of the widely popular social media platform. The Indian government so far has not made any official remarks against these allegations. It remains to be seen how the issue will pan out and what impact it might have on Twitter operations in India. We hope you like this new video. Do like, share and subscribe for more such contemporary updates. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.